Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna be stalling the air intake system on the 74 Volkswagen bus with a Subaru engine. Follow along, guys. Okay, last episode, I got the engine bolted in, the engine mount made, that's all set. Time to put in the air intake system. Uh, the throttle body kinda, I have it taped off to keep debris in here. The throttle body, uh, take that rag out of there. Throttle body kinda points at the, right at the firewall here. This uh, here rubber elbow bought on uh, eBay. That's a two and three quarter. Fits right onto the the throttle body, and that's a three inch on this side. So it's uh, slightly larger as it comes around, and that gives me clearance and get on there. It gives me a little bit of clearance to the the back firewall here. I'll be running the the uh, air cleaner. We'll be mounting that inside this hole. That's a kind of a cool air intake from the. The intake air that comes in the side of the bus here comes down the side here there's a big hollow cavity in here that feeds both this radiator and that intake hole right there. in order to get proper airflow i cut these two large holes in this panel that lead into that round hole section here so coming back to the top in line with the system here we got to run a mass airflow sensor this mass airflow sensor came out of the Subaru car, and that's needed for the computer to uh, read uh, the airflow for the computer, um, and we'll put that in line somewhere here. So um, I've seen other folks do it too. You, you bore a three-inch hole here. I can mount this mass airflow sensor right here, and then we'll put the uh, air cleaner on the inside and connect it with a hose. I got a couple other hoses and some uh, some other piping that I can use if I need it and I'll get started here so turn the light down here get the get the rubber boot installed on the throttle body temporarily all right I got a clearance issue here if you guys can see that I'm with this bottle it's a little bit tight here against here so I think uh, I've got enough room on this elbow where I can take off I only need about three quarter inches here I can probably cut off a good oh I don't know I got an inch and a half to play with I can cut off maybe three quarters of an inch and slide that down and that'll give me a little better straight shot lineup to where I got to put the mass airflow sensor so why don't I just snip this off, come back, and and see how that fits on there. But it'll work. I cut it here. I've still got a I've got a, a nice straight section there that I can still use. That doesn't work too hot. Get a knife out here help get it started I'll cut away from myself oh man is that stuff that's sharp that's some good stuff there it is come right around to the other side all right there we go Oh yeah. And I can turn it up a little bit right here instead of straight. All right, I had a couple options here. I was gonna put this rubber elbow here right off the this elbow with a short coupler. I got a short coupler here, uh, three inch. But it's really, it's really flimsy. And I think when it gets hot in the engine bay, I'm afraid it's going to collapse. It, it may not, but it's not nearly as stout as the, you know, as a full aluminum or plastic, rigid plastic like a OEM. So the mass airflow sensor here, I think I'm going to go with this setup right here. So uh, I don't quite need a 90. I don't quite need it like this. I don't think this will reach or it just might reach. We're going to see. But what I'm going to do is I've got this plate here 
It was from a different application uh, turbo for a, a Polaris Razor. And I am going to transfer the bolt pattern onto this mass airflow sensor. And through the coupler, I can hook this. Uh, this is also off a, a turbo kit, I believe, on a Razor. So I'm going to use this as the uh, breather hose into the intake system and may have to cut this off so I don't get too tall here. So that's what I'm going to work on, transferring that, cutting it, and then what will happen is I'll have this air cleaner will end up going here like this along with this plate. I'll bore a hole in the plate and that will sit somewhere here and then the air cleaner can grab onto the nub sticking out the end with a, a band clamp around there and I cut a clearance hole it's not imperative that that's sealed around the tube you know a little bit of air can get by it but uh, I'll put a maybe a little rubber grommet or cut a fuel line split a fuel line and use that as a grommet just so it doesn't rub and buzz and saw through this and uh, that's kind of the plan so let's get let's get going all right Transfer that. I'm going to transfer as close as I can. Mass airflow sensor to this aluminum. Got this part, and luckily it's had a flange welded on this metal flange here, so I can. Transfer that. Clamp it back down. And I got mark the holes here marking these holes okay there okay cut that out that'll be uh hold the mass airflow sensor all right cut this out so bolt to the mass airflow sensor i used to have a nice band saw I'm stuck with this. I'll just uh, cut all the way around and maybe get a file, knock it down, hit it with a grinder a little bit. But we'll, uh, we'll just do her this way. Okay. Cut this down. Got to cut out. Now I'll just kind of touch it up, maybe on the belt sander here. Not a bad profile for a quick job like that. I'll punch the holes in here and uh, be ready to go. This way. It might be easier just by hand, I guess. fit i'm going to double check uh clean up some burrs on the back side with a unit bit and see what see how it fits do a little clean up here with unit bit okay see how that bolts together Okay, you got all four in here. It's M6s, and I think I can use these this little cool little backer plates on here and just tighten these down. Now there's a direction of flow on the mass airflow sensor. There's an arrow on the sensor itself, right on the side of the housing. It says flow. Obviously, you want that going towards the intake. That'll plug, that'll plug right in to the air filter. So Okay. 
right, good. Yeah, it looks nice too. Looks professional, you know? So flow direction here. Um, now we're gonna bring it, bring it over here. Let's take a look inside. All right, I think we gotta cut it off about right there. Might be a couple cuts to get there, but let's get after this. I got a deburring tool for that tool. Need for that. Oh, does that work good? A little easier on the inside, but okay. Nice and smooth. I'm gonna clean that out before I install it. Too much grit in here. That's good. Okay, She's clean now. Let's see how it looks. Okay. All right. Next thing to do is uh, this is that is cut a hole in this this panel here. That's a little panel that fits inside. That's the stock Volkswagen bus panel, and I'm about three quarters of an inch. I'll take you inside here and take a peek. I got it installed here. See if we can get up in there. But that tube is about three quarters of an inch from the side. That way everything looks great. It flows nice. It's level. So, <clears throat> all right, guys, take my word for it. That's what we need to do. And I am going to chop a hole about three quarters of an inch from the wall here. Okay, paint pen time. Arts and crafts. All right, now, yeah, it looks great, okay? We gotta cut that hole. If I could do it with a hole saw, hmm, I got a plasma cutter, but it's kind of been acting up, so let's see. I think I'm gonna try that with a hole saw. Now I can go a little bit bigger, and what a lot of times the guy will do, cut the hole a little bit bigger, and then as the aluminum tube can pass through, uh, you know, I don't have a grommet that big, but you can take a piece of a fuel line, a quarter inch or three eighths, a little fuel line, like a trim, you can cut a slit in. I'll do that. So let me cut this. Let me drill that hole. I just went and marked this with the paint pen straight up and down like this so I could get a little offset. Added about a quarter inch all the way around. So I'll be cutting that out. Uh, that'll give me room for that grommet. I got a bit of a dilemma. I do not have the right size. It's a little bit too big. That's a lot of grommet. Five eighths. That's a little large. I'm gonna just try snipping it. I'm gonna try that. Let's get that out of the way. Right off the edge here. You know. Try something here, see if I can snip this sheet metal. Oh yeah, it's pretty thin. Oh, that cuts pretty nice, because these are cheap. Okay, there we go. Got that hole cut out. Now I wanna just hammer this a little bit, flatten that down. All right, see the clearance we've got? Fix that. All 
uh, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make a grommet out of some fuel line to go around this. So I'm gonna kind of get a measurement. Give or take, cut it off a little long. Okay, try not to cut our fingers off with a dull blade. That is not good. You get it started, you don't have to. And I'm not pulling real hard against my, this, so in case something, I'm not gonna worry about cutting my finger because it's cutting easy. Okay. Okay, there we go. It slid all the way. Open that up. It's plenty long here, so. Works out to be a good little trim. Okay, keep it centered. Looks like we got to cut off about, oh, three quarters of an inch. This worked fine. All right, there's our grommet. You know, there it is. Oh, that's a good fit. Yeah, I can get it through. There's a, this, this is going to have a little barb on it, which is great. And when it gets through the barb, it'll pop right on. Yeah, got the airflow sensor wiring pointed down. This is going to pop in. Oh yeah, that's a good fit. Okay, there won't be any uh, wobbling, which is fine. Then I can kind of rotate this wherever I want it to go. We only need about oh three quarter inch sticking out, so I can on some rubber parts. Sometimes it's nice to put a little cart, put a little cleaner on there, and then they they assemble easier. Let's see, push down on it. There we go. So, yeah, system. So that's the, uh, that's my system here for the uh, cold air intake. All right, here's the assembly. Air cleaner, clamp. This tube comes through. Uh, mass airflow sensor and uh, where the breather is going to hook up. This is going to sneak back behind that radiator. Now that's going to get, that's going to get interesting. Here's it. we have a problem. All right, guys, I spared you the pain of getting that round disc installed. I I took this elbow off so I can maneuver and bend that, bend the tubing in that, in that grommet I fashioned up so I could get it past the radiator. Once I got in there, then I could turn it around, get it where I wanted it. The mass airflow sensor connector is down below. I've got a short coupling, and then I've got the tube going into the, the elbow here. Everything looks good. I'm gonna tighten. Tighten those clamps. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a deep well on that, but yeah. So that's I put them down below so I don't catch my fingers there. 
I suppose I could spin them. It'd be a little harder to tighten, but right there, they're kind of, it's kind of a clean look. I got one more, I got to buy a couple more clamps, one for the throttle body. One. Yeah, recap on the intake system. I got it installed. I put that round plate in. It was a little bit of a challenge with the, I just uh, kept that little six inch section of aluminum and I unbolted, took the air, the air flow sensor things off. Then I could weasel around the radiator and get that back in there. Uh, the air cleaner's back in there. Put the coupler back on. I need a couple clamps here on the throttle body, but it's parallel, R looks real nice. Um, also from this side, looks pretty good. It got a little bit of a down angle on it, that's fine. It's it's routed in the back here. It really, really is a clean install. The mass airflow sensor's here. The wiring is hanging over here. Um, right there, that's the big connector for it, that great connector. I'm gonna have to run a couple feet lead and do an extension and bring it over to this side for that mass airflow sensor. Uh, but yeah, so that wraps up the intake system. Finished up that air intake system and it looks pretty sweet. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Oh my gosh, the just car, look at the it. The car is not perfect. Just look at it. <laughs>